Hey guys, welcome back. This video, I'm gonna be talking about how to fill values of a custom type, such as user in this situation, inside of a loop. So when would this happen? Well, if you wanted to basically ask the user in the console for the values, you could do that in a loop and you could create as many users as you wanted. Alternatively, you might be reading from a file and you just wanna make things really organized by putting everything in objects and putting those objects inside of a list. So I'm gonna mimic that here and basically we're going to start with an array of names or a list of names and we're going to iterate through and basically create a custom list of custom types. So it should be pretty fun. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so first thing, we're gonna start with a list of string. We'll call this first names, put some values in here, and we still need to have new list of type string with the parentheses. All right, so that's the entire syntax. I'm gonna repeat that for last names like so, and change this up a little bit. Beautiful. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna get rid of this here. So we're gonna get these values from these lists. Now we're going to keep this list of users because we're going to use that, but we're going to use a little bit different of a for loop and we're no longer going to add these here. So rather than using a for each, we're going to use a for. This will allow us to go up until the length of these lists. So we can say int i is zero, i less than first names dot, oh, I always forget that, count, oh, I totally knew that, i plus plus. Now I am making an assumption here that first name and last names are the same count, which is oh, kind of dangerous. So you might wanna do some checking, but I'm in the, I'm in the point in the program where I've gotten the, the data from a file I've already validated it and we're good to go. Um, you might be getting that file directly and putting it in the list automatically. So you just might need to be a little bit careful to make sure your, your file is of the right structure. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new user. So we'll just say user user is equal to new user. User dot first name is assigned the value first names index i. Psh, I don't know why I messed that typing up real bad. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the last name. This comes from last names index i. Now, all we gotta do is say users dot add and put that user in the list. Cool, so the, the first iteration, it's going to grab Caleb, next iteration, John, and then the next iteration, sub. Each time it's going to create a new user object and assign the first name and last name and add that to the list. Then we're going to iterate through that list and write out their full name. And you can see we got Caleb Curry, Jonathan, and Subscriber. So that's that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.